G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, this week we're going to talk a little bit about dealing with problems. Uh, it's The problem I'm talking about particularly is not the penguin face, which is behind me, the surprise penguin face. It's something we discussed last week. So let's get straight into it. Okay, I am standing before the problem. It's not the diagonal build above my head. The problem is this stuff here. So let's take a look. It's not a huge problem. It's only a little problem, but it's a problem nonetheless I want to deal with. So let's have a look at it. Okay, we have here a couple of glass panes. That's right, they're dark grey stained panes and light grey stained panes. We have some flowers, we have some leaves, we have an iron block, and we have some iron bars. So what's the problem, Zingberg? Well, if you're patient, I'll tell you. The problem is that, number one, these panes, using a certain resource pack that I use become window panes. These leaves I find to be a little bit boring. It makes the trees look very blocky and I don't enjoy them very much. The flowers, I don't mind vanilla flowers, but you know, I, I've found a way to make them look better. Iron bars bug the life out of me that they do this what's called Z tearing or Z tearing, depending on where you are in the world. Um, that annoys me no end, right? And over here we have an iron block, which is just an iron block. Okay, normal iron block, looking fine. Now, here's the thing that I've done, and it's a very minor thing. So, back in 1834, when I was a boy, we, we were taught, it wasn't a point in 1834, it was 1835. Um, we were taught a little bit about problem solving. And from what I remember of it, it was a long time ago, back in the old days, uh, where, <laughs> how to deal with problems. So first of all, you define the problem. So the problem we have is that when I get the iron bars that I want, the flowers I want, the leaves that I want, and the windows that I want, I cause a problem with iron blocks. That's the problem. So then the second thing you do is you brainstorm solutions. So you think of how could we fix this? So one way to fix this oh, is to have a sleep. So we're going to do that. Okay, we fix that problem too. Uh, so <laughs> what were we up to? We're going to brainstorm solutions. So one of the solutions would be just don't worry about all this pretty stuff. We have the iron blocks working the way we want them to when we don't have all of this, so just don't use it. That's one solution. It's not a solution I'm really happy about. The other solution is, well, we just deal with the iron blocks. We just deal with this, that's fine. Except for that I have this giant build that has a whole heap of iron blocks on it. And in some circumstances, like on this side here, it's not too bad, but when you're looking at it from this angle, it causes an epileptic seizure. So we don't want that. We want to solve the problem. So then the then one of the solutions that we have available to us is we look for other resource packs. And I tried that. I tried looking for other resource packs. I couldn't find one that had the the windows and the flowers and the leaves and the iron bars and didn't have a, an iron block. In fact, there are very few packs out there that do the flowers and leaves the way that I want them. Okay, let's, yes. Okay. Whew. Perfectly handled, easily and perfectly handled. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. I gotta get better at that. Okay, so with an arrow hanging out of my head like this. So then what you've got to do is try and sort out what, what are the other options available to you, right? And one of the options that's available to me is that I'll make my own resource pack. As I say, I don't know how to do that, but 
I'm willing to give it a go. Now, should I bring in the, take the resource pack of the one that's above me and put all those items into vanilla uh, Minecraft, or do I take vanilla Minecraft iron blocks and just put them into the blue nude one? Actually, you know, that's probably the best bet. I think that's the best bet. I think we have solved the problem. Right, so step three on the 1832 uh, problem solving thing was uh, to pick a solution. So I think the solution is that we make our own resource pack. And I think all we do is take the vanilla iron block texture and we put it into a resource pack on the Blue Nerds one and let's have a look and see what happens. So I am about to do something I've never done. I'm going to take a risk and I am going to go and attempt with very short time left in my day for recording to make a resource pack. Let's see how we go. Okay, we are back. Uh, it is 42 minutes later than when I left you last and I still have the Blue Nerd pack uh, established with the established I still have the blue nerd pack on with the tearing iron blocks and all the pretty flowers and windows and things that I like so now I guess only way to do this let's see I haven't even tested this so let's <laughs> hope so we're going to remove blue nerds from there. We're going to take this one, blue nerd zinc, I've called it. And I've just added a little zinc berg into the top corner there. We better put that one above and done. And we keep our fingers crossed. Done. Wait first. We've still got our flowers. We've still got our iron bars. We don't have Z tearing on the bottom. We don't have Z tearing on the bottom. <laughs> uh, we... <laughs> <laughs> I'll get in trouble for that, I'm sure. Well, I would, but it's okay. There aren't many of us here. We don't need to worry about it. And now the big test. Please be right. Please be right. Look at that. We did it. No tearing. So I get to have the flowers I want, the leaves I want, the bars I want, the windows I want. And I fixed the thing in 42 minutes and I've never done that before. That was so easy. And now we can look, we'll even apply some shaders in a second. Come on, hurry up. Shaders, look shiny blocks with no tearing and I've got all my stuff. What a clever boy Zinc is. What a clever boy. That's awesome. So. In our problem solving thing that, that we learned back at school. So number four, so number one was define the problem. We did that. We brainstormed solutions. That was number two. Number three, we picked a solution. Number four, we tested the solution. Number five, we reviewed the results and we got the problem solved. And look at that. Look at what we've accomplished today. Isn't this marvelous? This is, <laughs> this is a huge event for me. It's not much for you, but it's a huge event for me. <laughs> Okay, I've, I've waffled on. I'm so proud of my iron block. I am so happy that I have this now. Uh, unfortunately, if I ever update the game, I'm going to have to do it again, but I'll be able to do that a lot quicker, so that's fine. Um, so I'm going to build something. I'll see you in a second. Watch this. Okay, quick pause in the time lapse because I don't like it. <laughs> it's not terrible. Like the shape's going to be fine and things, but I there's a couple of things that I don't like. I don't like, for one, I'm kind of done with this. I want to use the dark oak. I might, and I don't like those flat walls either. You just have a look around yeah and there too well that's all going to change anyway uh 
I am going to be that guy. I'm going to change it. Hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, I think that colouring works a lot better. I've done some other things. I've fixed up the top of the window there. We'll see how that looks once I go in. I've done the sides here, so I've gone and recessed the sides back in. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Okay, all right. Well, let's get back with the time lapse. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have run out of time. <laughs> so I've quickly rushed together the finish of this. Um, I, I'm pretty proud of it. I, I, I like the way it's come out. I always say it, you know me. But um, there are some things I want to do to fix it up. I want to bring some more diorite into the build a little bit sort of to keep with the theme of what's going on around here to keep this elven sort of feel. I don't know how I feel about this yet, but it's growing on me. Maybe the mud path needs a little bit of work. Um, but this is the finished product of where we are now. Um, so what what you didn't see there was the detailing, right? We did went around and did the dark oak as the um, as the accent around the edge of the roof, and throwing in things like the um, the the trapdoors either side of the windows or or on the sides of the windows to give it a little bit of sort of texture and things. I've given the um, gone back to the pot plants with some flowers in it. Now I can use those flowers freely. Uh, and you know, put some bushes down, things like that. Uh, just giving it a bit more. I, I think you'll agree. I think it. I think it looks pretty good. It, it needs some more work, but I've been sort of busy trying to throw bushes up and things like that. Uh, let's have a look with the shaders on. Oh, look, that fixes the whole thing. It's finished. Fine. <laughs> That's good. Shaders are so cheaty. Um, <laughs> I won't leave them on. Will I leave them on? No, I won't leave them on. Actually, I have to show you something else with shaders on, so I will leave them on for the moment. Uh, so, yeah, that's um, that's sort of where we're up to with that build. I, I think it looks pretty good. I think we got to a place, and that place is good, and I will do more during the weekend um, and we'll get more of it done but I think that looks good and I think that's probably my thumbnail there so that's good as well now what else have we done okay we've got to try and fly over here and be sneaky a little bit sneaky so we'll, we'll come in closer to the building just to show this off because you know how much I love that close to that we have ooh, another sneaky little staircase here which takes us up over here and uh, I had a few comments in the last one about some ideas, some things to do. So I've gone with the roundhouse here. I've gone with a little bit of an enchanting sort of setup. A little bit of a... Uh, 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 I keep saying a little bit of a... This is a room. This is a room. <laughs> this is a room. With lots of bookshelves in it, apparently. So... It's meant to be sort of like that that thing that I always come back to, that wizard's 
room or something like that and that's that's what this room would be i could put the wizard skin on and i could say yeah so this is where the wizard sit but i'm not going to do any of that i haven't got time for that you've just had the taste of it there just pretend blink hard and you'll pretend that it happened now let's go and have a look at the last thing which this was this was suggested by a very good friend of the channel impala 100 and a few other people agreed i built an obelisk look at this this is what i spent my week doing <laughs> so this is my obelisk and uh this is i'm going to just turn off my UI for a second my, my, to, to give you a bit of a look. So one of the things I did with this, I did that smoky, smoky um, sort of effect around here with the shaders on. It's not as good. Let's have a look without shaders on. Okay, so we have the smoky effect without shaders. <laughs> that deep deep sort of looking thing which is just glasses uh glasses it's glasses put glasses on and then you can see it it's layers of glass with an air gap between and then lighting at the bottom uh to to give you a bit of a um, a bit of a depth the air block creates that ghosty sort of look to it that that steamy sort of look to it uh we can leave the shaders off that's all right and yeah just just put around some decorations so we've got the stalagmites um, so the way i remember that stalagmite because they might reach the ceiling that's silly because the ones from the top might read the reach the ground but the stalactites are holding on tight right that's nice and easy because they're coming down so stalagmites i say that little rhyme in my head or that little thing in my head every single time um now can we see yes so you'll notice there's some look we've got some little pixelation type effects happening here so they're just end chests <laughs> i've put some end chests under the um, under the carpets here um oh i can't see to place it oh no what do i help help well we'll put the thing back on there um so just hiding some in chests underneath there just gave us some of those and it's not all the way around but it's sort of i've put enough of them around to get that effect and some smoky smoky sort of effects happening too i didn't know that smoke could go through ameth amethyst blocks but it can so that was fun glass panes that i've put up in different places on the actual obelisk itself gone with a whole lot of things so glazed one of the glazed terracottas we've got in here um the purple one and we've got some purple purple i don't know we've got these blocks from you know the end <laughs> and there's some glass in there as well amethyst the dripping obsidian the crying obsidian and also thrown in some end rods and there's some little purple candles in there too which they aren't lit but i think they help with some of the the shape and things like that of it i i really like this i was thinking about a i was contemplating a um like a fully structured obelisk like a like a washington monument type thing i think that's the building um and then I thought, no, you know what? It should be more natural looking. So, so that's that. I'm going to put lots of, lots of, not probably not lots of, but I'm going to put some custom trees and things around here. Uh, I don't know that I've done a great deal else. There's been some terraforming happening around around the world, uh, but I don't think I've done a great deal to the actual palace. No, I don't think I've done anything to the palace. I don't need to do anything. The path. Look at how beautiful it looks. It's gorgeous. And I didn't get the stuff done over here that I said I was going to do. So that was good too. Uh, I think that's going to do us for this week. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good effort. We got a house built, and we got uh, we solved problems. We remembered how to solve problems. Uh, and that problem solving thing, you can apply that to any part of your life. Define the problem. Think about the solutions. Pick one of the solutions, then test it, 
and then review the results. And that's that's really simple. That's that's something we can all do in life, I think. Don't give up. That's the big thing. Don't ever give up. If you if you find something that you want to do, just keep doing it and keep trying to solve those problems and get get through things. Um, I believe in you. I think you can do it. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for putting up with me waffling on about problems. And uh, <laughs> I hope you had a good week. Uh, okay, I have said this a couple of times. I am definitely putting out a Craftworks episode this week. Definitely. 100%. If nothing, that'll be all I do. I'm not going to work. I'm not doing anything. My boss will love that. I hope he watches this video. He doesn't. Um, have a great week, guys. I love you all to death. You guys are fantastic. And I will speak to you later. Bye.